Hi, my name is Chris Cushman and I'm an assistant product manager here at YSI. So my focus is on our laboratory products, such as our YSI True Lab, which you see here, and our YSI Multi Lab, which you can see in the back. I also focus on sampling products, such as the YSI Pro Plus and the YSI Pro DSS. So today I'm going to talk, with you, talk to you about uh, one of our new lab electrodes, the YSI TrueLine Ammonia ISE. This ISE uh, can be used for compliance reporting in wastewater treatment plants, and it has a measurement range of 0 0.02 to 17,000 milligrams per liter. So definitely a very wide range. So the Ammonia ISE has two main structures. It has a pH electrode, and it has a membrane module. So what happens is the pH electrode fits inside of the membrane module, and there is some internal fill solution that is then placed in the membrane module. And what this will do is ammonia gas within the sample will permeate through the membrane at the tip of this module, and uh, it'll go into the electrode itself or into the module itself uh, where it will cause a pH shift within the internal fill solution. That pH shift is then detected by the electrode, and that pH shift can then be correlated to ammonia concentration uh, after you've calibrated the electrode. So to set up your electrode, uh, well first thing, I do want to show you what you get with the electrode. You do get a small bottle of internal fill solution, you get a small bottle of standard, and you also get a small bottle of blue ISA. So what this ISA does is when you put it in your standard or your sample, uh, it will buffer your sample to a pH greater than 11. And what that does is cause the ammonia in the sample to become gaseous, which then allows it to permeate through this permeable membrane. Uh, so to set it up, what we'll do is we will place 15 to 20 milliliters, or 15 to 20 drops, rather, of internal fill solution in this membrane module. You can also take this rubber tip off of it. Then you will line up the slots at the top of the electrode here with the slots on the membrane module itself, and then you will take the cap and screw it on. Once you've done that, it is ready to be used, but I would recommend conditioning the electrode in a low concentration uh, solution. So, for example, I'm going to be calibrating with 10 milligram per liter and 100 milligram per liter standard. Um, here in a few, which that video you will be able to see on YouTube. Uh, so what I've done is created a little solution of 10 milligram per liter standard, and I'm going to soak my electrode in it for about 15 minutes or so. Um, one thing I did want to mention too is this soaker bottle that is included on your pH electrode when it, it's shipped to you has pH 4 buffer, and it also has a solution of potassium chloride as well. So that uh, pH 4 buffer and potassium chloride solution is the best to use when storing your electrode, so you'll want to keep that soaker cap for later use. Um, so that is how you set up your ammonia electrode. Uh, I will calibrate it, and you will be able to see that calibration video also on our YouTube channel. Um, but for any other questions that you may have, you can contact our technical support here at YSI. Um, also feel free to check out any of our other videos that we have on YouTube. Um, and I hope you found this brief setup video helpful. Thank you.